Hi with another video with Linux Mint 20 and today we will talk about Wine and how to run Windows applications. Let's start right away. We open the browser, go to Wine HQ. And this is the website where the application you can uh, find uh, the latest instructions how to install it. Click the section download. And because Linux Mint is uh, based on Ubuntu, so we'll go and click uh, Ubuntu. It says that uh, have some uh, restrictions, have, uh, it's still not ready for night, the Linux Mint 20 and so on so on. But uh, the most important for us is that uh, everything will work. And in the future, if you see Linux Mint 20 here, you can just copy paste the command specific for this distribution. So let's start with uh, my cheat sheet. If you start with the new Linux uh, installation, it will not have pre-installed any kind of uh, Wine version. Uh, before they had some uh, old version of Wine, but if you upgrade or update you will have old version of Wine. So I recommend uh, if you have anything before to uninstall your old Wine um, uh, version. And if you don't have, you just make a clean install of Windows 20. You can skip that, that step. All commands I will put uh, on the description. So you can copy paste uh, from there, but uh, this is the only command which actually you need to run. The, the rest are from the website, so you can just copy paste from the website. First step, activate 32-bit uh, uh, application support. So that's the first command. Second command is they change some uh, authorization uh, authentication keys, uh, which you don't have to care about it. Just uh, copy paste it. Now we have to guide our Linux main from where to take the package to install. We'll use Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20. But how I said is if in the future they have some distribution for Linux main 20, you can copy that command specific for Linux Mint 20. It's based off Ubuntu 20, so it will work like a charm. Let's update uh, our uh, system. So everything what we did up to now, it will be refreshed. And finally installing the package. I will copy paste from stable version. It will take a while, you have to click yes, continue. I will cut for a moment because we don't need to, to wait. Uh, and here it is, it's completed. Now it's time to test it. What's better than just download a few Windows applications, right? So one text editor, not part plus plus. And uh, let's find the file, just double click and it will start the installation exactly like uh, you are in the Windows. The very first time when you start uh, any application, the Wine will auto-configure itself. So you have a few windows which you have to click OK, OK, OK. So that's the time when Wine will even download some packages if it's needed. But that's how I said, it's only the first time when you launch, after that it will never appear and bothers you again.
It looks like it's the same package over and over again, but actually it is not. And here it is, the one configuration completed, and now we proceeding with the installation of our uh, Notepad++. And here it is. It works very well. I know that for Linux have a special Notepad QQ, but uh, right now uh, I'm just making just demonstration of the Windows packages. How about we test some uh, with a uh, editing, imaging, browser view uh, program? I know one uh, free accent view, so. It's a very nice program for Windows and I will just go to the original website and download the classic version which is a full extended one. You see that this time the wine when you click twice it will not appear it doesn't need any configuration it will just straight uh, start the installation like uh, the normal Windows uh, program. And here it is. The program works very good. Uh, I know that it will create one second shadow link. I have no idea why all the time is doing it. I'll delete it on a, from the desktop, this one here. But this is just specific for this uh, application, it's nothing about wine. Okay, that's everything what I need to show you today. Thank you to be with me and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye.